Death Row artist Danny Boy talks about being groomed by Mary J. Blige. In a shocking interview, former Death Row singer Danny Boy revealed that he was groomed by Mary J. Blige when he was only 15 years old and she was 24. He claimed that Blythe took advantage of him and initiated a sexual relationship that lasted for several months. Danny Boy, whose real name is Daniel Stewart, joined Death Row Records in 1993 as a protege of Suge Knight. He was known for his soulful vocals and collaborations with Tupac, Sleep Dog, and Dr. Dre. He also sang the hook on Aid Mad at Cha, one of Tupac's most famous songs. In the interview, Danny Boy said that he met Blige at a party in Los Angeles, where she approached him and gave him her phone number. He said that he was flattered by her attention and felt like he had made it in the music industry. He said that he called her the next day and she invited him to her hotel room. He said that he was nervous and excited, but also naive and innocent. He said that he didn't know what to expect, but he soon found out that Blige wanted more than just a friendship. He said that she seduced him and took his virginity. He said that he felt confused and conflicted, but also addicted to her. He said that they continued to see each other secretly for about six months, until Blige broke up with him and moved on to another young singer, Case. He said that he was heartbroken and felt used. He said that he never told anyone about their relationship, until now. He said that he decided to speak out because he wanted to heal from his trauma and help other victims of grooming. He said that he realized that what Blythe did to him was wrong and abusive. He said that he suffered from low self-esteem, depression, and drug addiction as a result of their relationship. He said that he hoped that Blythe would acknowledge her wrongdoing and apologize to him. He said that he still had respect for her as an artist, but not as a person. He said that he wanted to move on with his life and find peace.